Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby edition pick your team number 17. All card ship. Some nice stuff here. Big thanks to this group for getting into the action. Tuesday the 6th, pick your team 17. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in the team random. Sean Maddock, you got Last Spot Mojo with the Brew Crew. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. Here is some B Chrome. Let's actually take this out of my inventory system. Sorry, I keep forgetting to do this before I start the video. And if I wait until after the video, I'm gonna forget. And that'll jam people up here. I don't wanna I don't wanna be the one jamming people up here at Jaspies. 2022 Bowman Chrome. 12 boxes. All right. All right, good luck everybody. The hot stove heating up today. Ladies and gentlemen, heating up. It's getting real hot. There was a, uh, you know, there was a a quick tweet that suggested that uh, that Aaron Judge had a was close to signing a deal with the Giants. Uh, that tweet was quickly retracted. by John Heyman from MLB Network. And he's like, nope, sorry, my bad. Jumped the gun on that. I think the Giants have put in an offer. I don't know if they've heard anything yet. We might have an answer maybe by tomorrow? This week, this week, weekend maybe? I'm sure Aaron Judge is getting the final offers kind of finalized and weighing options with his family. And see, let's, we'll see what happens. I think really some kind of kind of smaller transactions happening around the league. We'll take a look at those in a second. All right, good luck everybody. What we got for the A's, Junior Perez. That's for Alexander with Oakland. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break as well. There he is. We're where will he go? There's Cesar Prieto, 100 out of 125. That is for Chris and the Orioles. There's a Wander Franco rookie card and a Yankel Fernandez. It's a nice one for the Rockies. It's a shimmer. Parallel, not numbered, but that'll go to Dylan. Ronald Franco rookie card will go to Ryan Harold. Hopefully, maybe we can find a parallel of this. That would be pretty cool. Maybe some ink for Roderick Arias. That's going to be for the Yankees, Chris Butler. All right, next mini box. Ooh, and a redemption. It's Carlos Colmenares for the Rays. Uh, that's the Bowman Invicta autograph variation orange to 25. 
Nice one, Ryan. Ryan Harold with the Rays. Got that randomized him in the team random. And that the Invicta are these ones. They're on a thicker card sock, too. You can see that. And orange is usually to 25. And there's Yendry Rojas, one out of 50. Padres offered Trey Turner $320, $330 million or something like that. A lot more than, uh, than the Phillies deal. He turned that down. So it's interesting because it kind of lets you know the Padres have $300 million plus dollars laying around for somebody. Just willing to spend that money. On a shortstop, too. What were their plans? Are they planning to move? Well, they got a cover for Tatis during his, uh, while well, he serves his suspension. But what happens when he comes back? Were they thinking maybe, maybe move Tatis Jr. to the outfield or something like that? First base, somewhere else? Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, Ryan's like, Jacob deGrom has hurt more than most family deaths and breakups. Yeah. The Texas was, I mean, I guess the, the Texas part doesn't surprise me. They're looking for pitching. I guess the years surprised me. They, they gave him like, what, five or six years? He's following the Nolan Ryan path. There are some uh, injury question marks, which makes me think that... Uh, that most, uh, that I thought he was going to get three years from somebody or two plus one or something like that. You know, so uh, Jacob DeGrom hated ownership. Rhino, what's up? Thinking thinking that DeGrom deal might be the next A-Rod deal. Yeah. That's why the years, the number of years he got surprised me a little bit. There's Sedan Rafaela for Boston. That's going to be for Matthew Sherrod. But I think the Rangers have a beautiful new ballpark. They want to keep putting butts in seats. They went big in free agency last year, and looks like they're trying to go big this year. They did go big this year. There's Adrian Placencia, 88 out of three, out of 499. That is refractors out of 499. Got a Wander Shades of Greatness insert. The refractor goes to Wade and the Angels. There's Jason Morabel, speaking of the Rangers, 219 out of 250. There's Jeremy Pena and his maybe future teammate Quincy Hamilton, 247 out of 299 speckle autograph for Mark and the Astros. Astros, their their big signing in the off season, Jose Abreu, and they might not be done yet. Yankil Fernandez, Colorado, that's going to be for Dylan. Other shades of greatness, Wander Franco, Yasser Mercedes. Edgar and the Twins, and the Boz for uh, Tampa Bay, 22 out of 250. That'll also be for Ryan H. All right, next.
Saw a couple memes Rex is saying. One was Kate Upton, New York fan's favorite new Met. Let's see how Kate Upton... Let's see how the Uptons... Kate and Justin Upton... How they... How they handle... Uh, the New York press. Now there's Mets spending 89 million, 2023, Verlander, Scherzer, and Bonilla. They... Let's see how that works out. How do you feel about the Verlander deal? Do we like that Verlander deal? Dodgers were apparently looking. Dodgers want to do that short, short contract thing. High average annual value. Short contract. Ryan Harold loves it. He's a Mets guy. He loves it. I think that third year kind of tipped the scales for, uh, for Verlander. I think the Dodgers are probably pretty firm on two. MJ Car Collector, as a Mets fan, I love it. There's Colin Burns, Mr. Burns, going to Chris Butler and the O's. Nice. Ryan, you played golf with him in Florida like seven years ago. He's a good dude coming off of Cy Young. Oh, this is cool. It came to the league, Jay Allen, to 25. Nice. These, look, these are really cool. Reds. That's going to be for Mark. Work of the, what were the circumstances there? How'd that come about? Was it just random? or We've got another Mets fan. A lot of Mets fans here. That's right. Rhino29. Mets fan. Glad we didn't pay to Grom. Got over 100 wins pretty much without him. Why waste that money? Nice. Lived across from your uncle for spring training floor. Nice. And yellow parallel, 43 out of 75, Cooper Bowman in Bowman Chrome. The perfect product for him to be in. That's for Chris Butler and the Yankees. There's Colton Kowser, 108 out of 299 for the O's. Verlander showed up with a fleet of cars every winter. Eight to ten cars. Were, what do you need eight to ten cars for? Yeah, the, the NJ doesn't want to... Doesn't want to lose Brandon Nemo. Yeah. Apparently, for the... For, for the most teams are not in on Aaron, Aaron Judge. But I think most teams can afford Brandon Nemo. Dodgers, I think Dodgers are kicking the tires on him, but I think, again, I think the Dodgers will probably go with just fewer years. What would you do with 8 to 10 cars over the winter? You need 8 to 10 cars? I, I guess I could, I take that back. I guess I could, I could be, uh... I could be I could easily have eight to ten cars if I had the means. But moving them around, I I'd probably lose keys. How do you keep track of the keys? Are these rich people problems? Do you, you have an assistant maybe that keeps track of it? Hey, where are the keys to the Corvette? Where's the keys to the Aston Martin? Where's the keys to the vintage Mustang? Where's the team where's the, the team paid for it? Oh that's nice. 
Then I'd move cars around all the time, but then I'd just be like, well. I feel like I'd lose the keys. Here's Alexander Suarez, 167 out of 250. That's for the Giants, that's for Eric. Benny Montgomery, Benny and the Jets, 184 out of 299. Should have been a football player. Colorado, that's going to go to Dylan. Dylan got that in the uh, the team random. There's Cleo Watson, purple shimmer to 250. That's going to be for Randy and the Marlins. But Verlander, that's good to hear. I mean, he's, he's, Verlander seems like a nice guy. Hit the ball a friggin' mile on the course, I can imagine. I'm trying to work my work my way up to the level of hitting the ball a mile. Ryan, Ryan would like to see some Senya, Senga on the uh, on the Mets. Matthew with the Red Sox. And speaking of Shohei Otani, Rhino29 was saying, 2024, Scherzer, Verlander, Otani. Don't need DeGrom. I don't know. I, it, unless Otani changes his mind, much like how Trey Turner's always wanted to be on the East Coast, seems like Otani's wants to stay on the, on the West Coast, but I suppose things could change. When he hit, if he, when or if? When and if he hits free agency, when or if he hits free agency, there's Jason Curio, Cleveland. I mean, that's going to be what a bidding war for that for that player for Shohei Otani. It's going to be crazy, right? Ah, uh, the old lure theory. That's uh, That sounds like Rex's theory that Seiya Suzuki is going to lure Senga to the Cubs. He's probably linked to a lot of teams, to be honest with you. That's what I try to keep telling him, Ryan Harold. <laughs> Need to overpay for Cody Bellinger. My, my Cubs friends, I got a lot of friends who are actually from Chicago, Cubs fans, most of them. One of them is a White Sox fan, but um, the Cubs ownership is something that, that really, I really don't like that ownership. And that gets around the league, believe it or not. You know, players talk. Players who are on different teams go, hey, what's that? What's that really like? You know, so it's not a huge factor. You know, money always always talks, but but guys will players will talk to other players. Hey, got a nice got a nice offer from the Chicago Cubs. You were there for a few years. What's what's it really like over there? You know, what are their training facilities like? How much do they invest in? You know. The facilities, the, the medical staff, the training staff, the, the amenities, you know. Do they have a Coke machine in the locker room? Is it free? 296 out of 499, Edison Paulino. 
that will be for Boston, Matthew Schrock, that one. I don't know, the feeling I get, it's like the Cubs ownership tends to cheap out here and there. There's Michael Hernandez, 233 out of 250. Yasser Mercedes, Yas, going to Edgar. Michael Hernandez for Chris Butler and the O's. And your AL Rookie of the Year, no doubt about it, Julio Rodriguez rookie card. That will be for Matthew Shira and the Mariners. Nolan Arenado, maybe a future MVP here, 84 out of 150. For the Redbirds, that's going to be for Matt Wood. Ah, interesting. Epler is tied to Otani. He'll get him to the Mets. That was Ronzi Contreras. Is Mettler with the Epler with the Mets now? 50 out of 499. And speaking of the Mets, JT Schwartz. May the Schwartz be with you. That will be for Tim and the Metropolitans. A lot of Mets talk here. From Newport Beach. Not too uh, not too far from Jaspi's, maybe about 40, 45 minutes south of us. Robert Hassel, 91 out of 4.99. Padres, Alexander with the Friars. That's where the uh, winter meetings are. I think winter meetings end tomorrow or today. Was today the last day of the winter meetings? Dustin Harris, dust in the wind. 39 out of 199, Texas. That will be for Kevin. I close my eyes only for something, then something, something. Dust in the wind. Next box. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, Rex, look at this. How about some Cubs talk for Rex? Cubs and Jameson Tyon nearing a deal. Look at this. Just the, the Cubs just going bananas in free agency. Locking up Cody Bellinger. Agreeing to a four-year deal with Jameson Tyon. Four years, $68 million, according to Jesse Rogers of ESPN. Let's lock up that World Series. I think Tyon's pretty solid. Uh, Taiwan Walker is who you're thinking of. Another pitcher, different pitcher, went to the Phillies. Taiwan Walker went to the Phillies. And that was also a four-year deal, $72 million. And Phillies trying to get uh, Matt Stram, left-handed reliever. Are they pretty close to getting him? They did get him, maybe? They could use that, that pitching help there. Andrew Heaney went to the uh, Rangers. Actually, that's, that's not bad. If they, if they have, if they're hoping Jacob deGrom will be what they want from Jacob deGrom. But if they get Jacob deGrom, Jonathan Gray, Martin Perez, and you put Andrew Heaney in the back of that rotation, not too shabby if Andrew Heaney can do what he did with the Dodgers. Ooh, Red Shimmer. Autograph, Michael Hernandez, three out of five. Chris Butler with the Orioles. Chris bought the Orioles straight up. Patiently waited for the break to fill, and then bang. Three out of five, red shimmer autograph. Your number 11 Orioles prospect. There you go, and more importantly... All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. 
Looks nice. Real nice. Raphael Devers, 202 out of 250. Going to Matthew. Ooh, memories. Taiwan Walker was your first one of one ever from 2015 National Treasures. Adidas patch auto that I pulled for you back in the day. Nice. Still have it? Or did you get a pr good price for it? This is Rodolfo Castro for the Pirates, 168 out of 299. And Jake Rucker. Bring in the Rucker. That's for Edgar and the Twins. All right, we got Christian Vaccaro for Ryan and the Nationals. Francisco Alvarez for the Mets, Tim. 268 out of 499 refractor. And Jason Curio. Looking for his brother, too, Jackson, who's on the Brewers. And there's Max Muncy. A's edition, 123 out of 250. They had a different Max Muncy, the ones on the ones who's on the Dodgers, and I guess they were like, you know what? We made a mistake letting Max Muncy go. Also, uh, someone was saying that this Max Muncy from Camarillo, California, has the same birthday as Dodgers Max Muncy from uh, from Texas. How about that? Short, then shortly after, oh yeah, I remember that Jackie Robinson one of them. Looked like a piece of a piece of a jacket or something like that. Maybe some of the numbering, something. Any word on the double header? Would you break tonight if it sells out? No. I will not, unfortunately. We, we usually look to shut things down around the top of the hour, 11 o'clock Pacific. And so the deadline has already passed for that double header, which was at 8.30 Pacific. It's a two hour break. And we still have to do two fillers for it. And we're still 20 spots away from that, so. But I was encouraging everybody to buy spots uh, because if we if that filler fills tonight, I can I could do the filler. A, I can do the filler. B, um, that would be our first break of the day tomorrow. We'll probably have some help from the staff here. Someone could rip packs for me, and then that break won't be a two hour. We should might sit, shave thirty minutes off that break. That would be a, just a great way to start the day. I like, I like having a break to start the day because that kind of gets the people going. That sets a nice tone for the rest of the day. You know, Ryan Harold, I read that as we will run it time warm. And I thought that sounded pretty cool. There's Diego Velasquez. That sounds like a sounds like a cool uh <laughs> No worries, Adam. Uh Diego Velasquez for the Giants, my rivals, Eric with that one. Time worm sounds like uh I don't know, like a mystical creature, maybe a uh, a Marvel villain, maybe the name of a of an early late '80s band or something like that, maybe a '70s prog rock band. One twelve out of two fifty. I kind of it's like Time Worm. Kind of feels like, kind of feels like a. I don't know, maybe. 
like a like a metal Pink Floyd or something like that. If Pink Floyd is a little more metal, they'd be British for sure. Good evening, Birmingham. We're time warm. Andrew Rojas. All right, we're time one. Are you ready to rock? Are you ready to do the time worm? Yeah, time worm could sound like maybe a British animated series. I could see that. Like a like a British Rick and Morty or something, and they'd ride around a time worm. They they go through go through time and have adventures. Noel V. Marte to four ninety nine. Dustin Harris, two fifty. Time Warp is the Rocky Horror. Yeah, then we'll do the Time Warp again. Maybe that would be the theme song for this uh, for this animated show. Let's do the Time Worm again. Let's do the Time Worm. Wriggling through time with the time worm. That'd be the, that'd be the name of the album if the band was Time Worm. Wriggling through time by Time Worm. That's right. You'd be a man of the soil. That's right. Time worms. What would fans of the Time Worm, what would Time Worm fans would be like Wormies? Would you call yourself a Wormie? You see someone else wearing a Time Worm t-shirt? And they'd be like, oh, you're a Wormy too? Yeah, I'm a Wormy. You're a Wormy. Man, I love Time Worm. It's Victor Acosta to 150. There's Luis Chevalier, 225 out of 299 speckle autograph for the Mariners. Matthew Schraub with the M's. Victor Acosta will go to Andrew and the Padres. Drew Baker. 11 out of 99, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Speaking of bakers, Baker Mayfield in uh, in Los Angeles. He's with the Rams. Part of their quarterback room now. So Drew Baker will go to Ryan Harold and the Rays. Kyle Tucker to 150. That will go to Mark and the Astros. Blue parallel. Right, yeah. Uh, Man of the soil, man of flexible character. It's Joe Adele, 302 out of 499 for the Halos. That'll be for Wade. And there's Jeremy Vargas for the Brewers, Sean Maddock. Last spot mojo, 70% of the time, 80% of the time. Ooh, nice young kill Fernandez, 112 out of 199. Rockies, Dylan. Time Worm. Welcome to the Time Worm. 
You're in the time. There's Brian Acuna, Ronald's little brother. Jimmy, what's going on, man? You, Jimmy's glad you were wrong about Baker Mayfield. He he was all about him going to Seattle. I, you, I don't know. I mean, maybe just the, the maybe just the Panthers were not the right fit. I wonder if Baker Mayfield was in Seattle. If he'd had the, if he would have the year that Geno Smith has been having, I just feel like there's just good weapons around Geno Smith, a decent offensive line. You know that that running game is pretty good with that, that Michigan State running back. You know, Pete Carroll still sharp. Yeah, Geno Smith is a time worm for sure. Just wriggling back in time, just taking it back to the old school. Because he's an old fool who's so cool. He's definitely, Geno Smith, a time worm. He, just, he was just there, being flexible. A, a man of the soil, the football soil. And he just wriggled his way into a starting job after Russell Wilson left, won that job, and now he might he, he might get MVP consideration. Definitely comeback player of the year. Whoever gives that award out, but definitely a comeback player of the year award is in store for him. I mean. If he has a second good, I don't know what the terms of his contract is, how old he is, but if he if he strings together a few good seasons, if the if the if the Seattle Seahawks make like a Super Bowl run in the next two to three seasons, and I'm sure they'll add more pieces in the offseason. Can you imagine like how 2013 product would have a resurgence? Here's Yasser Mercedes. Yas. Yas. 249 out of 499. Nice refractor autograph for the twins. Edgar. Yas. Alec Thomas. 40 out of 75. He's 32. No deal after this year. Do you do you give Geno Smith a deal? Do you give him like a three year deal? Might might give Seattle a little hometown discount for uh, for hey thanks for sticking with me thanks for believing in me. Here's Jose Miranda one fifteen out of two ninety nine. And there's Jonathan Mejia, Matthew. Matt Wood and the Redbirds. You could probably re-sign. Um, you could probably re-sign Geno Smith for pretty cheap, cheaper, right? And that buys you a couple, a few more seats. I think it's a great. I mean, what a what a great move. There's Cal Raleigh speaking of Seattle, eighty-four out of one ninety-nine. That's for Matthew Shira, because Geno Smith being effective just bought you possibly two or three seasons of maybe being able to fix other parts of, you know, keep adding to other parts of the team and not have to worry about the quarterback until everything else is set into place. Yeah, there you go, Edgar, on the board. Yiddy Cap is your case hit. These, these Bowman Ascensions usually fall one per case. I think this is a sharp-looking insert here. That will be for Randy and the fish, case hit. All right, three boxes to go. Six autographs to go. 
You don't have an auto. Hang in there. Play to the whistle. I mean, now if you're if you're Seattle, and doesn't Seattle have a million draft picks now because of the Russell Wilson deal? Right. So if the if the if the Broncos keep playing horribly, wow, what a draft. Right, Husky, you're right. I that just hit my that just hit me. Also receiving Denver's first round picks for like three years, you can still draft a quarterback later on. But like next year, you can just be like, I'll draft more offensive line, more defense, you know, maybe another running back, another pass catcher. Just keep adding to that team. Wow. Maybe uh, maybe Pete Carroll knocks out another Super Bowl before he hangs it all up. I mean, NFC West is it, it could be got. You know, the the Rams might be. I mean, I don't know. The, the Rams seem like they spent all their bullets just to get that Super Bowl last year. There might be some coaching firings. Kiffin might be might be done. Kiffin might be done in uh, Arizona. Right? Niners just seem to seem to never be able to. I mean, I feel bad for them. The quarterback situation always seems to be an issue whether it's just unlucky injuries or whatever. So this might be, this might be a, a nice little, I could see a nice little two to five season window for Seattle to really make some noise. Pete Carroll maybe get another uh, Super Bowl before he hangs it up. Uh, Wade with the Angels. Bobby Wood Jr., Blaze Jordan Green, 96 out of 99. Boston, that's going to be for Matthew. Is Jimmy G coming back? Oh, no surgery, huh? This year? It's Bobby Wood Jr. For the Royals, that'll be for Chris. That'll be interesting. Ronald Acuna Jr., 230 out of 299. And Charlie Welch. 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 Is, uh, that's for Seattle, by the way. That's going to go to Matthew Shira. Welch, uh, Welch is great jelly. I like Grape Jelly from Welch. Florence Welch, I think, is the lead singer for Florence and the Machine. Another Welch's. Can we get it here? There's Willie Fanis. 26 out of two. 26 out of 199 for the Metropolitans. That'll be for Tim. Maybe for the last week of the playoffs. Says Ryan Harold, maybe no no chance. I don't know. Christian McCaffrey could just go off and just carry that team all the way to. You don't believe in Brock Purdy? Brock, dust off your Brock Purdy cards. Mister Irrelevant suddenly becoming relevant. There you go. Rex has a display of Welch's sparkling juice. It's always good to have some sparkling juice on hand at any party if you're hosting a party. 
for maybe uh, those who don't drink, maybe those who uh, are designated drivers during the holiday season. At his store, Ryan, he uh, Rex works overnights on the uh, Rex works overnights at a grocery store at a Kroger in Indiana. Yeah, for, for the kiddos, but you shouldn't be taking your kids to a holiday party. Leave them at home with the babysitters. Let the adults have some fun. Fair enough. Still strange, still like it. Alright. I'm getting close to the end. And in the end, the love you make. There's Greg Cullen. Chris Butler and the Orioles. We got Samuel Zavala, 107 out of 125. And a little, what's going on here in that card? Maybe like a little pass on the adhesive or something like that? Jazz Chisholm, 239 out of 499. And an Alex De Jesus autograph for my Dodgers, Chris Butler. With the boys of summer, Dem Bums. The Bridegrooms at one, one point. Number 21 Dodger prospect, according to MLB.com. Christian Pache, 37 out of 199. No worries, Adam. You'll take a refund. Easy. Go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, click the support button, and they'll take care of that. We got a whole team that'll that'll take care of that during business hours. No worries at all. It'll break tomorrow. Someone else will grab grab that spot pretty quickly, I'm sure. Classic Rex. Chris Farley interviewing uh, Paul McCartney. Classic. And Adam, be sure to um, be sure to uh, give them all the details. First, last name, order number is important. So to make your uh, to make that process a little bit faster. Thank you. Then you should just stay in the break, Adam. You guys have the best price of all the places. That also leads me to believe that we could jack up prices a little bit. What's everyone else charging, Adam? Should we charge that?
feel like we can charge more. That's what Adam. That's what that's that's when people tell me, Joe, you've got you guys have the best prices. That tells me, did we underprice? Could we be making more of that beautiful, beautiful profit? There's Louis Chevalier. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. No, we appreciate. It. We try to keep. We try to try to get pass along whatever good deals we get. We try to pass along those prices to everybody. We try try our best on that. It's Khalil Watson, pink shimmer to one ninety nine. Warming Bernabella to four ninety nine. Yeah, you know, if it's one of the bigger operations, yeah. I'm, I mean, I don't know. That's probably shouldn't be that. But you know, sometimes, sometimes uh, people who are kind of newer to the industry or do not have established contacts with like wholesale stuff. Oftentimes, they're trying to buy cases that at like retail and then trying to resell. So that's it's a difficult game, but sometimes that happens out there. So, twenty-six out of fifty, Gold Auto, Dalen Leal, Nationals, Ryan Gamsby, and I think that's that, ladies and gentlemen. There's Helio Ramos to two fifty. Julio Rodriguez rookie card. And that, my friends, is that. Yeah, we don't have to talk about it. We don't talk about it. Hey, well, that's the rest, Adam. We're the best. That's why. That's why we're still here after all these years. All right. Yeah, wasn't the Chevalier? There's the case hit, there's the Yas, the Fernandez. A lot of nice stuff here, a lot of nice color. I like that orange, it came to the league. Little old school horror movie action there. We got the Carlos Colmenares Invicta autograph orange. And the red shimmer out of five, three out of five, Michael Hernandez for Chris Butler and the Orioles. That was a nice little train whistle there as well. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.